it's Jazz Rose. I know this isn't the most flattering angle. It's the best I can do. I'm sorry. But for today's video, I'm going to be showing you what's in my hospital bag. Um, I mean, it's not packed yet, so what's going to be in my hospital bag? So, I am 100% having a cesarean. It's booked in for the 20th of December, so two weeks from now. I'll be having a child in two weeks. So I do have to pack a little bit more. I'll be staying in hospital for three or four days, maybe more if something goes wrong, who knows. Um, so I have to pack a little bit more. So my suitcase is huge. I mean, I think this is the amount that I packed for my first pregnancy. I, and I thought that I was having a natural birth. So like, I don't know. There might be a lot of stuff to you or there might be like too little of things. <laughs> also before I begin, straight after this I'll be packing the baby bag so I'll be uploading those two videos together. So if you want to know what I'm packing in the baby bag go ahead and watch that video. I'll be linking it in the description or it'll be at the end of the video on like one of those end card things. Um, so yeah, go check that out. And let's begin. This is my list that I just wrote up an hour ago. Um, okay, so I'm just going to be going through the list, um, showing you what I have and placing it in the suitcase. <laughs> Some of these things, especially toiletries, I do need in the next two weeks. Like, there's like a toothbrush and stuff. I need those things, so I won't be packing them properly. I'm just going to be showing them, mentioning them, and chucking them to the side. <laughs> okay, so pants and shorts. I have one pair of um, very flowy shorts and I can pull them up as high as I want. <laughs> I definitely need something that can go over my wound because it's going to hurt if there's a waistband right in a fresh cut. <laughs> I have three pairs of these very ugly, I mean the last one is just plain black, but um, these pants are, I don't even know what you call them. Do you call them harem pants? I don't know. But they are very elastic elasticated at the waist and just very flowy thin material and then they're cuffed at the leg as well. So I have three pairs of those. I basically lived in these when I was in hospital with Phoenix and like you don't get too hot. They're very breezy and they're great. <laughs> now this is where I feel like I'm overpacking. I just packed one pair of tracksuit pants just in case it gets really cold, but it's summer in Australia right now, so I don't think I'm going to have to wear these, but um, it's just in case. Next thing I have on the list is tops and dresses. Now, as far as I can remember, I pretty much just lived in pyjamas while I was staying in hospital um, for Phoenix, so... I have one t-shirt dress and I've also got this pajama singlet and this pajama singlet which I actually wore in hospital with Phoenix and I don't know if I've worn it since. It smells like storage. It's really gross. I need to wash this. <laughs> so that's what I've got for tops. I might pack a t-shirt that I have in the dryer right now. Um, but then next is pajamas. So I have these long pajama pants and I've also got a nightie in the dryer right now which I will definitely definitely make sure I pack and will probably live in. Having a nightie is the easiest thing to wear while in the hospital because people are going to be like checking your wound all the time and it's easier to just walk around <laughs> and there's no waistband like threatening to hurt you, <laughs> touch your wound and yeah, 90s are just like the easiest thing. I should really buy more. The next thing is bras, and these two bras are maternity bras. They, I think they're a size too small for me. They're very uncomfortable, but they're maternity bras. Um, the difference between maternity bras and normal bras is they have this clip. You can take that off and the cup like folds down. So like there's the strap, the cup will fold down so you um, can feed the baby easier. So yeah, even though these are a size too small and they're not supportive at all and they're very uncomfortable, I'm still packing them. Um, and I'm also packing a non-padded bra that is actually currently too big for me, but like, my boobs might get swollen, so who knows. Next is undies and socks. I have 
two pairs of ankle socks and two pairs of normal crew socks. Um, and with the undies, I think I need to buy more, but because I'm having a C-section, I need to have high-waisted underwear and you might call them granny panties. So I have these ones. They are very high-waisted. I wore these. Um, it's just like a purple pair and a light pink or nude pair. I wore them in the hospital a few years ago. I don't know if they still fit. I don't want to put them on. They definitely helped. They definitely stayed away from the wound. So hopefully they'll fit me. <laughs> and I also bought a two-pack of, um, of these, but these ones are cotton. These ones were, these ones are like microfiber material, sil silky, I don't know what they are. But these ones are cotton. I feel like these ones would be better. And they really do look like I'm not getting any action for 10 years. Next thing is breast pads. These things. And they, you just stick them on your boobs. And it just stops the milk from staining or like just wetting your clothes. So I have a 50 pack right here. Um, they come folded, you unfold them, take the sticky bits off, stick that on your bra. The next thing I have is some thongs or some flip flops or jandals. <laughs> I think that's what they're called in New Zealand. This will probably just be what I wear when I go home. And then I also have these slip on slippers. They're very worn as you can see, but um, yeah, they will be very handy in the hospital room. Okay, I didn't write this down. I forgot, but I have um, a shirt in case I get slightly cold. And then I have a woolen cardigan in case I get quite cold. <laughs> okay, next I have my iPad and my Apple Pencil because I do drawings and that'd be something I could do when I'm bored. I don't know if the hospital has Wi-Fi but that'd be handy too because then I can um, do internet stuff on the iPad instead of my phone. I'm also packing my portable charger. This thing is amazing. It's very bulky and heavy um, and I think it was pretty expensive but this is like the best thing I could have anywhere with me um, and I also got charger so this this cord will be for my portable charger my iPad my pencil and my phone so one charger is enough for me okay next I have to um, turn the suitcase around because there's things in the back here and my stomach hurts right now <laughs> the baby is viciously kicking me in all the wrong places and I'm sore. Okay, toiletries. Okay, I have a hair tie. It will get pretty hot, I assume. So I did my hair out of my face and it's pretty long. So one hair tie I think is enough for me. I've got lip balm and deodorant, a toothbrush and toothpaste. I have a loofah and I am so glad I have this because when I was in hospital after I had Phoenix, um, I only brought like a really small um, sponge loofah and that was definitely like a mistake because it was small and I couldn't really move my body much and I was very weak so I couldn't you know like get in places I needed to get in <laughs> saying getting in just made everything worse I couldn't reach places <laughs> because the sponge was too small I have a face washer I'm pretty sure they will give me a face washer but I just thought I'd bring one in case like I know I'm definitely gonna get a towel um, but I just thought I'd bring a face washer <laughs> I have bags for dirty clothes this one's for me this one's for the baby <laughs> oh one thing I didn't grab which was on the list um, is face wipes like makeup wipes because I don't want to be like if I'm sweating or whatever I don't want to be like getting up going to the bathroom to wash my face I can just like go to my bag, get some face cleaning wipes and just wipe my face. That's like 
the laziest way to do it, but I'll be in pain, so I have that excuse. I've also got micellar water and cotton pads as well. I've also got my moisturizer too. Next, I have my conditioner, shampoo, and shower gel. I took these from Novotel when I stayed there a few months ago, and I haven't opened them yet, so I guess... I'm gonna be putting them to good use in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Hairbrush, can't forget that. And lastly, my hair towel, um, the Turby Twist. If you don't know how this works, I'll show you. It's kind of hard because my hair isn't wet. But basically, I put this part over my head, my hair goes into this long part and I twist it and then flick it back. <laughs> anyway, that is it. That is what is going to be packed into my hospital bag. So there you have it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below or let me know if this helped you out in any way. Make sure to check out the what's in my baby bag video. I'll be uploading that at the same time as this one. So it'll definitely be up once you finish watching this video. And if you want to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe. If you're not already, that will really mean a lot to me. And until next time, goodbye. <laughs>